Welcome back to the channel. Today we got the Savage 720 of the Humpback. Savage, unlike the rest of the manufacturers, they just made different kind of models and different. I don't even know what Savage was doing. And good luck finding any information. There is some stuff about them. You try to go look up serial numbers. Nope. Some of the guns don't even have serial numbers. It is a, I don't know, it is just crazy. So Savage made a 720, a 740, a 745, and a 750. So the 720 is what I'm holding right now. It was made between 1930 and 1949. They made a 720 in steel. This is steel. A 745, which is alloy, aluminum. Also, a one in a 750 was alloy, and then a 745. So, let's get crazy with these uh, Savage. So, this is a 720. It's wrote on here somewhere. Where is the 720? I don't even remember. It's right here, model 720. So, there is some engraving on this gun, just like the Remington. You have to push the push this in it does not have the magazine cut off and it still has the cross bolt it's still a long action just like the other one this one is an approved cylinder so this one is very the blue is gone on this gun so what i'm going to do with this gun and another gun is i'm going to get both of these cerakoted um uh, these are not the most valuable guns if you're looking to get a humpback get you a savage because these are pretty cheap so i've never shot this gun so we're gonna see what what it'll do it may not cycle these shells because these are real low uh, velocity i didn't want to put anything extra heavy in it so let's see what she does. The Savage 720, eight pounds, four ounces. Don't quote me on all the model numbers on the Savages. There, like I said, there's not a whole lot of information. Basically, you got to go off of forms and pictures. I can only tell you what I have at the moment. I'm trying to look for that 750. Um, I'm going to get the set, uh, the Savage in the, the round receiver. And until next time, I'll see you.